Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, I'm going to talk about why I think Fan has the right hiring process. Okay, you might uh, want to argue with me saying they, they don't have the right hiring process or you want to agree with, with me and that's okay. I don't want to argue with anyone. I just want to share my two cents on this issue, okay? Uh, let's begin. So, many of you including me, wants to get in, and many uh, don't, right? And they have complaints about this process, saying, okay, we already use algorithms. Why do we practice them? Why do we uh, practice for the interview? And even if we get in, we already have the chance to use them, right? Yeah, that's right, actually. In my seven years or uh, yeah seven years experience of front-end engineer I seldom use algorithms actually uh, in case I needed them some libraries will solve the problems for me so you're right we don't use the algorithms so why we need it in the hiring process well it's simple remember why we learned math in college right Actually, I learned the math for two, uh, for three years, or three or four years, but I, I, I remember nothing now, actually. Once I graduated, I forgot everything I learned in my college, especially, f uh, especially for math. It's so complicated, I just forget. Okay, so the, here actually is the s similar questions. We, we rarely did them. Why, why do we take the exams of the algorithms? We don't use so so sophisticated math. Why do we learn them? Right? So it's actually they have the same reasons because the algorithms problems are not the goal. They are not expecting us to use those algorithms in our daily work. It actually. They act like, uh, this problem acts like uh, a tool to help the interviewers uh, evaluate our thoughts, evaluate our approach to problems. So they could uh, be assured that once we get in the, to the company, we could approach to different problems. Even they don't know what the problems might be in the future, but uh, with our robust thinking process, with our uh, methodology to tackle problems they want to believe we could solve any problems any general problems right so this is why the algorithms are used just like the maths okay so next complaint is that uh, I can't build web apps I have a lot of experience and I could create those beautiful apps why not just give me a taking home assignment uh, you say you see that uh, you know in a coding interview for algorithm problems you might have to solve uh, uh, one or two uh, coding problems in a fairly short amount of time, right? It's like uh, thirty or forty minutes, and it's kind of stressful with the timer counting down. Why not just give me a, a relax, relaxing environment and uh, give me like one week? to create a, a web app, like create a YouTube, create an Instagram, everything is fine, I could make it beautiful. Why not? Because, man, everyone can do that with enough time, right? So, it's the same as the algorithm th stuff. They're doing something, this thing, creating something, the thing is not the goal. They, they don't, say every, everyone can build apps. Everyone can search on a Google. Everyone can copy and paste the code from the Stack Overflow. Everyone can refer refer to the MDN, right? So everyone can do that. Just give them enough if enough time is given. But in a real interview, we only have like uh, one hour, so it's not enough for for us to cre to create something um, good enough. And for the time stuff the th for the process if if we have a have a system that could track the uh, mind 
or like uh, say there's a camera monitoring all the time I spend on this taking home assignment and record my typing, record my voice, record my thinking, record my uh, uh, facial experience, uh, expression, I think that system could work well because they could uh, they, they could evaluate the same stuff from uh, from this process comparing to the uh, uh, algorithm problems. But these cost a lot of time, I think, even more stressful for us, right? You don't want to spend one week talking, right? Talking uh, in a well-organized way while coding, and uh, it's, that's stressful time. You just want money to be short as possible. So this is not a good approach. But actually, I think many companies do this. This kind of uh, assignment these days. Well, I'm not judging here. I just thought uh, maybe it is not that cool. It's just a personal idea. It is not right or wrong. It's just my two cents. Okay, I don't want to argue about it. Okay, so next to complain, working experience not matter enough. I have like for myself. I have uh, seven years working experience as a front engineer. Isn't that enough? Well, uh, I think that uh, experiences or knowledge are sort of cheap. You know, the experience in the past is just the proof that you did something. You did something in the past doesn't mean you are uh, to make something successful in the future, right? They are not 100% assured, but actually experience, they are related, right? I, I do think that they are related, but they are not uh, the the they are not the one hundred percent cost for the future. And knowledge is even cheaper. Everyone everyone can refer to the MDM. Everyone could search Google. So especially for the CSS stuff, uh, so those tricks for those uh, syntax, it doesn't matter. They are dead. Not knowledge and past experience are dead dead stuff and everyone can search on that so they are cheap so the experience of leading or managing a team leading a, a super uh, complex project if we have retrospectives on that or we have a deep thoughts about how to improve it what the pop problems we meet we met and how would we uh, prevent prevent that in the future for a new project that kind of stuff, that kind of thinking process are valuable. So they that should be uh, well evaluated, I think. But if you just say a pure working experience, I did this, I participated into this project, they, are, they don't matter, actually. They are worthless. They're just cheap. Okay. Okay, uh, someone may, might complain, lead code just means nothing. Uh, the, the, we don't use algorithms and the problems are there. And uh, even some engineers dumber than me could get into this fan if they practice lead code enough time. Well, well, yeah, you're right. So you don't even bother trying that. Remember while we w want to get into a good university, right? Get a good cottage. We need to take the exam, so we need to prepare, right? Prepare the, prepare the English, prepare the mathematics. So why do we prepare that? Well, everyone will, this is a clear path, right? The fan companies are, I would say, uh, kind enough to give us the road. Say, okay, if you did this, you could get in, you could join us. But few did that, right? Few can get in because no one can not no one but only a few people could manage to to handle the boredness right to 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 care to spend money care to spend time on it so if you don't even bother why should you why they sh should they hire you okay so that so they so last question what exactly do fan expect from us well this is a, i think uh, this is just uh, my personal view on this. It's pretty simple. So they actually expect us to prove we could solve future problems. There are some keywords here. 
First one is the future problems. It's not the problems in the past. So the experience are cheap. It doesn't mean anything if you spend a, re a time ret uh, a, a retrospective thoughts on it. So the, the interviewers, even themselves, don't know the what the future problems are because you know web, web services are evolving, the technologies are evolving. There are always new problems. So to prove we could solve the problems, we need to show our tactics, right? So to show our methodology, to show our approaches to the general problems. So this is the, uh, this is the, uh, this is the future problems, and we can solve the problem. To show we can solve the problems, they need to choose some problems and just to test on us. Right, the coding problems is kind of like uh, a small part of our coding of the code base. Well, you you might meet some kind of these problems. Okay, uh, you need to twist your mind a little. So okay, uh, like the algorithm problems, I took this approach. My I, this kind of stuff, uh, dynamic programming. Okay, I'll try to solve this way, and then I'll improve it by caching by memorization. A memori uh, memorization, uh, something like that, right? So this is a general approach for smaller problems, and for the whole picture, for the product, for the system. Okay, they will uh, test us uh, by by asking us to design a system. Okay, that's the system design. Okay, we will take tackle the system design uh, by these steps. Actually, on my channel, there is a general uh, guideline for uh, front end system design problems, if you're interested, please search on that. And uh, yeah, so they use these two kind of questions to test our thoughts. And then they make the decision, say, okay, this this man or this woman or, uh, uh, could uh, solve the future problems with the probability of like, I don't know, 90%? Yeah, if that's true, they will hire us. Okay, and then you might think, okay, not everyone is super engineers. I see someone dumber than me, even if they are in a fan. They are doing the boring stuff like we do. They are, they are creating buttons just like me. They're writing HTML just like me. Okay, yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, the, 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 those companies have a, uh, have a great process. They call PIP, right? Uh, I have never been in Amazon. I heard that they ha have this PIP process. If you're not performing enough, they will try to fire you, believe me. So don't worry about this. So they set a bar to testing our, our thinking process and then try, test us. And if you're not good enough, you're fired. So there's no anything, there's no harm on this fan companies, right? So, okay, that's all my thoughts about this one. That's why I, I think fan has the right hiring process. You might have a different opinion on this one. You could comment on my video, we could discuss, but I don't want to argue with anyone. I might, this is just my personal ideas. It, is my, it might be wrong. Anyway, uh, if you want to get a fan, I suggest you practice and uh, yeah, hope you are in luck. I failed. Um, I will try some try uh, it again someday. Okay. Uh, okay. See you next time. Bye bye.